This is 500 balloons. I'm gonna prank Ken Block. <laughs> Today is a good day because today is a race day. Yeah! I like that. You told me once that the chef never eats his own food. About to eat it. <laughs> Radio check! Q1 was on the outside, it was hard to get in there in the start, but Matthias was uh, a bit quicker than us, we was in traffic, past Gronholm, Duborg and uh, Timo Scheider, good battle. In Q1 I actually drove with the door open after a little contact with Niklas Gronholm, but it didn't affect us a lot. We need to go through everything now and dial it in perfect for Q2. Made here in Latvia? Yeah. It's all in Latvia. Yeah. 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 You might like it or yeah. you might not, it's, it's, it's a bit of everything, yeah? yeah. yeah. We will tell the camera if we don't <laughs> enjoy it. Yeah. 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 So this is for you and your Okay. Next up is the rig ride. <laughs> yeah. Ready for Q2 and the rain has arrived. Oh Accurate, trying to get around the outside, they need tissue. Has a look towards the inside now, lights are still up and the focus, brilliant move! Yes, by Andreas Backerud, well done, straight up the inside! Yes. That's not bad. That's not bad. Move! Yeah. Little slot up the inside, found a bit of grip, yeah we liked that. Turned the car, then I got all in. So Neil Cole, we got a word from Dirk Dancing. And the name of the town is Clan Fag Willy Glilly Gochery Clean Gridded Ball a bit Clan Tilly Silly Oh Liam Fair Fiddle Gilling Gilly Gugger <laughs> and next week, I'm yeah. going to Rally Day's show oh, in cool. the UK, yeah. close to London, one and a half hour outside London. Yeah. The same day, when I'm at the show in London, Andrew Coley, the voice of RX, <laughs> will be further from London. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he will be in Wales, and he is going to drive buggies. On a Sunday, I'm going to drive the buggy. Actually, the car buggy driven by the voice. You're if there is a buggy if left, this is. is the main issue. You see, limited talent, uh, better talent. <laughs> Not my problem though, is it? That's fine, I'll be going home on Saturday. <laughs> In the press conference, I got a word from Derek. Train station in Wales. No. Oh. Can you pronounce that word? Mm. Yeah. It's wrong, man. Yeah. Clanvaer, Porkwinge, Gogeret, Windebrobo, Landesiliado, Gogeret. Clanvaer, Porkwinge, Gech, Gogeret, and Wobo, Landesiliado, Gogeret. So we had a great day one here in France, uh, Loyak. France, Loyak, we're not in France, <laughs> sorry. So we had a great day here in Latvia, day one in Riga, the boys are prepping the cars. And I, I almost forgot, I have a prank on the boss man. So I brought 500 balloons. The only reason for that is that I, I'm gonna fill up his whole room with the balloons so that I can have in the title, I pranked Ken Block. Is that good? I am not gonna help with filling these balloons. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay, I should, I should put up the time lapse, right? Right here? That's what the pro dudes do. Okay. Yep, yeah, we are recording. I think we're at like 200. I've probably tied 175. Still learning the old. My hands are starting to hurt. Ready? Stretch. Fold, clear, done. That was slow. No big deal though. Really, really sorry, Ken. <laughs> So Ken Blog, I hope you're watching this because uh, Forrest wanted to tell you something. He he made a sign for you. It's right here. Look at the face. This is the last balloon going into your room. It's filled up. 500 balloons. We're done for today. And I I need to wake up early tomorrow to be here before you so I can record your face. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you boys. Sorry Ken, we love you. Sorry Ken. Ah, absolutely not, I was not involved. I was not involved. You made me do it. You good? Oh man. Oh, you know? What do you know? I know everything bro. How, how the f*** do you know? I know everything. I don't, I don't know if this is the best morning for it, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Why is everyone leaving me? Andreas. 
I just want to wish you a, a very good and successful morning. <laughs> I felt you left a bit early yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> For the last half an hour, I've been very worried that I'm gonna lose my job today. <laughs> He's just smiling now because the camera is up. He's actually really, really mad. Considering I got three hours sleep. Three hours sleep. Throw him in the balloons, like that's gonna hurt. He's a little kid, he'll like that. <laughs> Yay! I hope you had the blow on the top. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boss, I don't see you anymore. <laughs> hey, guess who's never driving the Hoonicorn now? You? <laughs> By the way, that's 500 balloons right there. <laughs> so warm up today was just to, to make sure that everything is all right. Uh, we did some some small details that we could learn of uh, for the qualifying heats and the finals today. But the main thing on the warm up was to do the warm up, check that everything is all right, don't take any risks, and get the car to the finish line so the mechanic have an easy job for the Q3 because it only starts in a couple of minutes. So about to head out to Q3 and uh, Q4. We're about to head out to Q4. We was P9 in the previous event, so that means we have uh, stop position four. We're still fourth overall, so we need a good heat. We need a good start. <laughs> Decent Q4, was fourth overall, which was probably fifth or sixth overall after all the qualifying heats. In Q4, I had a battle with Ekstrom, and I hate losing a battle against Ekstrom because he's a very talented driver, and I, I would love to beat him, but uh, not this time. But Matthias, next time you're going down. Predictions for semi-final: <laughs> Se second place by the second corner. Choke around lap four. What he said. <laughs> you ready? Kid, ready. I'm gonna chase. Seconds before the start, just putting my bra on. The nerves are there, and that's good. Then uh, that means brain is sharp, and I'm about to perform. So top three goes to the final, and hopefully we are in that top three. So see you. They're all down there, lined up and ready to go. Well, the boys are, are working. I just finished the semi final in third. The top person was nothing to do about uh, me and Exxon doing the same speed approximately, but I couldn't catch uh, him 100%. So the boys are uh, changing wheels. We are doing some uh, changes to try and make it faster. We're in the final, let's uh, thumbs up, and it's cool in front of my uh, crowd that have come all the way from Norway to Riga to support me. So I'm super grateful for having once again the best fans around. So yeah, really looking forward for the final. Uh, we had a good start in the semi, so I hope I can keep that for the final as well. Yeah, as you can see, the boys are walking. I think Solberg crashed out. It's a red flag, so we need to wait for his car to get uh, moved. And uh, I heard something was uh, that he didn't feel alright, so I hope uh, hopefully he's alright and uh, feeling better tomorrow. We're on the grid and all the teams are preparing the cars for the final. And the worst thing is that the rain is in here. We feel the rain is coming, but it's not uh, any big cloud, so uh, it's very hard to tell. We all uh, need to go on uh, slicks tires and see see what will happen. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. All in. The tires are good. Good enough for win. Yeah. Yeah. For you, they're good enough.
pulled in the start, went up to the fourth, which was the best we could. And for me, I, I never like to be number four. I, it's the worst position ever. So yeah, just need to work harder and hopefully get back to Estering with the podium. Like we didn't deserve anything better. So try to try to get back on it. Try to work harder for next event, which is in Estering in Germany in two weeks. So have a, have a good feeling. So the boys are packing up and uh, I realized we had forgot to do the snack route. I'm gonna test snack. Yantura is gonna finish up the PR, PR and uh, we're heading into the kitchen area. All right, you guys ready? Uh, with me today, John Close. Hey. David has the camera. And Pav is in the kitchen. members would like you to try these Latvian snacks in traditional Latvian sweet pie. P.S. We watch, follow and enjoy every backer life. 10k is just the beginning of your uh, YouTube career. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, first of all, of all, a very nice box. Too much Janis Bomanis colors, but uh, still very good. <laughs> Alright. The unboxing. The unboxing. We need a knife. We Do need like a, a knife? Yeah. Oh, whoa! There's a lot of snack in it. It's heavy. I like heavy snacks. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, we need to pick oh. some because we can't eat, uh, oh eat all of it. Rhabarberry. Chocolate, probably. Balsam. Riga black, black balsam. <laughs> Do you feel the weight of these things? Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, proper. Looks yeah. like a proper cake. It looks pretty good. Straight oh, yeah. in. Straight mm. in. Yeah? Nice. Really nice. Really good. Mm. Okay. Sweet and nice. Like this. My jam, Riga oh. black balsam. Right, marshmallow chocolate. Oh, nice. Mm, black one. Rhabarbera chocolate with yeah. some stuffing inside. I don't know. That's something what you probably clean the tires in your car. <laughs> oh, we're gonna try it anyway. <laughs> so this could be the worst. No, it smells good. Try. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the money shop. <laughs> Tire cleaner. The dirty bastard. Wait, I, I need to give a feedback on the rhubarbera chocolate thing. And I'm a fan of plain chocolate or chocolate with. I don't know. Not rhubarbera. Mm. No. Rhubarbera chocolate. Huh? Oh, how was the beer? Beer toffee. <laughs> no, <it's okay. laughs> yeah. Beer, beer toffee. <laughs> Yeah. And this is a guy that knows. He's from the UK. He knows the stuff. Because he's liquid inside. Oh, I, I don't. Oh. No way. No. No <laughs> way. I'm sorry. You're yeah, right. I know. I know. I know. Right. What are you doing? Oh, no. yeah. No. Oh, booze candy. <laughs> you oh. how you got drunk as a child. Yeah. Right? <laughs> the only way. You should you 10 oh. years old. 10 years old. These are hanging around. You're trying to party with David, your buds. Am I getting <laughs> fired now? <laughs> no. Chips, okay? It looks like green Pringles. Looks like tape. Mm. Green Pringles. Yeah. Very good. Like I, I'm a big fan. Long chips now. Long chips. Potato snack. Long chips. This thing weighs like three yeah. pounds. Yeah. This is really good. Yeah. It's really nice. Do you like it? You can take it home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. Very good tire cleaner. Tire cleaner. Yeah. So that's the worst. So I think this is the winner because like. This is, I think this is homemade, and um, it's given with love from Riga, yeah. from the crowd, from the awesome fans we have here. It was really good, and this is more like a traditional type pie, I, I would say, maybe, pie, okay. I don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Top rating. I do like the chips, different shape than, than the Pringles and the normal chip. I don't like rhubarbera chocolate, and this stuff here, <laughs> get drunk as a kid. Yep. Very you want good. that? Yep. Very good. Number two. That was all uh, from uh, Latvia RX. Until next time, flat out. As you see in the background, the cars are uh, covered up. We are uh, ready to leave the racetrack here in Riga. It's been uh, a very challenging weekend. The uh, weather has been changing all the time, consistently from wet to dry and dry to wet. And uh, yeah, it's been very hard and challenging. After my stall in the final, I was in very, very bad mood. I don't like to be number four in, uh, after a final. But that's how it's gonna be sometimes. I really do appreciate all the comments and all the likes and all the sharings. Keep on doing that. 
Thank you guys for your support. I hope uh, you enjoyed these episodes of Backroom Life. Until next time, flat out.